Paige, another big segment of the population you address in the red bag is caregivers. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that dynamic. Well, I speak a lot um, in the book about dynamics that really aren't spoken about, but need to be, but need to be spoken about. Um, I've gone through caregiving with my husband's illness, um, and it's a topic that people don't address. Uh, caregiving is draining beyond belief, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. So the caregiver goes through what they go through, the patient goes through what they go through, and then they both have a dynamic that they go through together. So within the chapters of caregiving and the very personal story of myself, my husband, um, many people can relate, whether you're caregiving a, a parent, a child, a spouse, of, yeah, that's what goes on, that's how I feel. Oh, I'm allowed to feel that way. So there's a lot of giving permission about things, and there's also um, putting a spotlight on the importance of what goes on between the dynamics. And most importantly, what are you supposed to learn through a very trying, difficult time? Whether we're talking about a traumatic event or in the world of caregiving. You know, what are the underlying messages that you're supposed to learn? How many times people have said to me, caregivers have said to me, this is hell. What do you mean I'm supposed to learn something from this? And I can say, everything that we go through, there's always personal growth. Even if it doesn't turn out well, the way you wanted it, there was always something that you learn from it. So I really teach and talk about what do you learn through difficult times and what are the messages that show up from beyond this earthly realm while you're going through the caregiving process or what, what the patient goes through, what are the messages that show up for them um, beyond this earthly realm as well. So I have a different lens, a, a different perspective in helping people through it. Well, and, and I can comment, having gone through that as well, right. that that's one of the, the messages that I appreciate most, maybe not most, but certainly right up there in your book, is that you focus on the caregiver. Yeah. It, you know, there are lots of people focus on how to give care and, mm. you know, finding the best this or best Great that, point. but you need to take care of yourself, mm -hmm. giving that permission. Yeah, absolutely. And also, within taking care of yourself when there is no hope, how do you find the, how do I put this, how do you find the invisible within the visible? What are the messages of hope? What are the messages beyond this earthly realm to get you through that next day, that next hour, sometimes that next second?